Meal Trans was a vital starting place for what trans rights look like today in Canada. It was the first multi-service program for trans people in Canada. From Meal Trans were born so many other projects and programs that have gone on to create massive change, including our um, Trans Access Project, which has enabled trans people to use shelters, particularly women's shelters, where we've previously been barred. Uh, as a result of our Trans Access Program, which grew out of our Meal Trans Program, the city's Shelter Standards Act was changed. So this has actually created a huge change for trans people's lives um, and in terms of access to shelter, access to basic services. There was a huge community outcry after the murders. There were press conferences after press conferences. There were articles in every newspaper and all over the television. And the 519 saw that there was a lack of support for trans sex workers in the community. So the 519 approached Mira Soleil Ross, who um, was and is a huge trans activist. She's also an animal rights activist and a performance artist and um, many other amazing things, my personal role model. And they approached Mira with this idea that she could create the first multi-service program for trans people in the country. So this turned into Meal Trans and Meal Trans since its inception has had about 20 to 40 people show up every week where we do all kinds of activities. In the start it was a lot of things like uh, they would do bingo nights, um, they would do film screenings and that sort of thing and nowadays we do a lot of workshops around HIV prevention and um, harm reduction work. So we are coming up on our 20th anniversary of Meal Trans very soon and hopefully we will have a large community event here in the ballroom at the 519 to celebrate all of our successes. In my dream world, we would get Mira Soleil Ross to come back from Montreal, the founder of the program, to um, perform and speak at the event. Yeah.